in this video we are going to see uh, how we can uh, use CADME scanner right uh, for scanning and uh, creating PDF document first we have to go to the Play Store and uh, to install the CADME scanner right if it is not already installed uh, we have to install it is uh, 60 MB right now in the uh, in installation uh, is complete now we can open the application can we scan our application we can open it right the first time when you are opening uh, you can see this you can uh, swipe to the right on the left side you can uh, tap on use now uh, you have to also allow uh, all these permissions click uh, tap on allow then uh, you can uh, tap on the HD scan start here on the camera tap on it again allow uh, now it is ready to uh, scan the document right it is ready to scan the document so I can skip these sample files now we can see now the camera scanner is ready to uh, scan a page then the most important thing is you have to enable the batch mode now you can see there is on the bottom there is a camera icon it is uh, flashing next to it we have a batch mode batch mode important to take more than one page right so i'm going to uh, enable the batch mode place our uh, uh, correctly place the uh, camera over the document and tap on the camera icon right now it is taking uh, the scan and the auto crop is enabled so it will try to automatically crop the edges but if you are, if you want to manually do it you can uh, uncheck auto crop then you can by yourself you can crop it but auto, auto crop is good and in case if you want to take the uh, picture one more time if it is not correct you can also go to the retake right and you can take the picture again right for example if you want then you can go to continue tap on continue and go to the next page right and do the same right you can tap on the now you can notice there is one uh, on the bottom it means uh, there is a one marked on top of the page we have taken it means we have taken one page right so again i can tap on the camera icon one more time then do the same click on continue uh, you can ignore this and click on ok then uh, third page already there are two pages you can see uh, it is marked as two uh, now i'm going to go to the third page right so i have taken three pages so i'm going to create a pdf so i can uh, tap on the uh, document right it is marked as three tap on it now it is automatically preparing uh, the documents right i have three so you can go through all these three you can swipe right using your fingers you can swipe it and if you want to delete anything you can uh, tap on the delete icon on the top left corner or you can if you want to retake the particular page you can retake it i'm going to cancel it right or if you want to rotate right? if it is uh, the orientation is not correct if you want to rotate you can also rotate also on the bottom you can see retake there are filters again if you want you can crop here right all these changes you can do right uh, after that you can tap on the top of the uh, screen it says camera scanner it put the date uh, you can give a name file name right tap on it then uh, you can uh, give a name 
right like your index number or your registration number whatever number that is unique to you you can type there right let's say uh, index right this is this can be your index number right uh, index let's say zero zero one then uh, click on ok now you can see on the top the file name has been changed after that you can click on the uh, pass mark on the bottom right right to finish this now it is preparing all three documents still uh, if you want you can rearrange this right page numbers if, if you mistakenly take the page number you can uh, tap on the uh, long press to manual sorting you can tap on it and you can move that right long press long press means uh, press and don't release the finger press on it and you can uh, move that right so if you want you can do this rearrangements and again you can select if you want to delete something you can delete if you want to move somewhere if you want to save this uh, single files to the gallery as a picture file you can save it uh, what we are going to do is actually uh, we are going to press the arrow key uh, back arrow key to go back uh, what we are going to do is now we are going to create a pdf on top you can see there are three icons these three dots right you can import picture you can college right you can rename you can uh, send to pc there are too many options are there you can use if you are tapping on the three dot icon and what we are going to do is we are going to create a pdf so tap on the pdf uh, don't worry about this uh, watermark if you want to remove the watermark there is a small as uh, watermark on the top of the each page captured by uh, scan with uh, a scanner uh, if you want to remove the uh, watermark you have to pay for that so just tap on anywhere on the screen to remove that then uh, you can uh, if you want to you can try to compress compress means uh, reduce the file size on the bottom there are five icons from left to right For, uh, fourth icon is compression you can tap on it but this is already maximum compressed then uh, you can uh, tap on the share on the top there's a green color button share then you have various option again you can share this on the whatsapp gmail right you can send to your pc uh, since we are going to save this on the mobile phone and we are going to upload this on the vle i'm going to uh, tap on the fourth option save to local right tap on it now uh, this is saved right on your computer so now what we are going to do is we are going to upload this in vle now we have scanned the document prepare the pdf as a single file next task is to upload this on the uh, vle so i'm going to go to vle right on, on the, my phone uh, if you if you are already logged in uh, login go to uh, vle.sc.ac.lk uh, you know your username and password login once to login right once you logged in you can see all your course under my course area so i'm going to use this computer network subject for example to upload whatever i have scanned there right so i'm going to tap on computer networks so this is the assignment or answer upload it means uh, if it is an assignment or semester exam online exam both uh, we will use this link uh, if, if during the semester you can use uh, assignment to upload uh, whatever your lecturer is giving you an assignment you can use that or in the semester exam also you can use it same procedure so that's why i put assignment to an answer upload and then you can tap on it then uh, tap on that submission right at submission then uh, you can uh, you have to upload the file here so there are few icons files on the first icon i'm going to tap on the first icon right about these uh, files it is written as files on that first icon you can tap on it then uh, you can tap on the choose file and uh, you can go to files uh, you can uh, search here so I can type index right uh, index 001 right you can simply search that and you can tap on that right 
or whatever location your file on your mobile phone you can select the file then uh, upload this file that's it right we can upload this file now you can see your file has been uploaded uh, you can uh, tap on save changes to upload that right now you can see the submission status is submitted for grading that is very important right it means we have submitted and your submission is okay you have submitted in case if you have a problem with your submission i mean you have if you uh, uh, uploaded a wrong file or your answer is not correct you can edit your submission or you will remove your submission right and when you are submitting uh, there are some requirements file size right file size might be restricted so when you are preparing your file uh, you should also uh, keep uh, that in mind the file size uh, and also sometimes it is only allowed to upload pdf files so you should create a pdf file to upload here uh, if you follow the stuff that i have shown you then you will create the pdf file right so in case if you want to edit your submission you can go to edit submission and uh, you can uh, do any, any anything if you want you can correct this uh, you can uh, tap on the file right tap on the file and if you want you can delete it right you can delete the file and again you can upload it right so same procedure click on the file icon first icon choose file files then you can step on the search uh, index right uh, you can uh, then uh, upload the file upload this file tap on upload this file save changes right it should say submitted for grading so this is how we have uh, we can submit right so as a summary uh, install go to play store install uh, chemist scanner right after installing the chemist scanner you can open the chemist scanner right you can uh, uh, place over your document so next time uh, it will directly go to this interface so tap on the uh, camera icon on the bottom green color right you can tap on it then your uh, document is ready to be scanned right move over the document then uh, batch mode already batch mode uh, available right uh, so you can uh, tap on the uh, camera icon right then go to the next page right then again uh, tap on it go to the next page right again tap on it and right. if you want four pages uh, right you can tap on it now we have finished taking uh, photos of four, four pages then again tap on the uh, pages on next to the camera then it will automatically prepare everything right so if you want to change anything you can still do the changes individually and uh, you can tap on the top to change the name of the file right let's say my file okay then tap on the uh, pass mark on the bottom then here also you can adjust if you want you can move the files uh, you can change the order then after that you can tap on the pdf on the top then tap anywhere on the screen then uh, tap on uh, compression uh, original uh, now you can see original is 1.29 uh, mb compress size is 0.65 so we, we can compress a uh, fair amount of uh, size so i can tap on the second one now it is compressed then tap on the share and uh, save to uh, local now earlier we have used that option so now it is the first option so save to local now it is saved i think it is saved here you can go to files uh, <coughs> uh, 
phone uh, there is a camera scanner right i can see all the files this is my file now just i have created so that is the location uh, you can see that right so again you can go to uh, really right if you want to submit again right uh, you can tap on it and delete it right the earlier file then again tap on the file uh, choose file files uh, you can search my file uh, now it is showing my file or you can uh, go some file right here files you can select the phone memory you can go to camera scanner my file right this is also you can select you can select my file now it is uploaded there upload this file so there are different ways you can upload it save changes right we have existing submission data please leave this page and try again so since we have already uh, have that uh, uh, cancel right so now we can uh, remove submission if you want right you can remove it uh, but it's, it will still say submitted for grading uh, you can go to edit submit again then files choose file files then you can go to your file on your phone uh, from a scanner then you can select your file my file then it is there uh, upload this file then save changes right that's it thank you for watching